The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento. Uh, Larry's not so little under the weather, and he should be back uh, either tomorrow or maybe Monday. Uh, so, of course, we wish him well. Hope he gets better real soon. We'll miss him here. Everyone's you know, waiting to see what he's got to say about these markets. Uh, looking at uh, in the Chapman Way methodology, just, uh, so my show is the Tiger Technicians Hour earlier on. Uh, in my show at 10 o'clock this morning, Eastern Time, I had discussed this lady does futures. I just want to show you this here. Um, the UNG, this is the uh, UNG is the United States National Gas Fund. It was at about 728 this morning. And I said, this is a very nice action. I like it very much. And um, the question came in and I said, I would nibble at it here, start the position. And I'd have a stop at about 7.13 on the UNG. I think it said 7.13. Um, it's trading now at 7.39. Uh, this is the first time. Now, look at this. This is going to be very interesting. Mm. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. So, look. You see this rectangle formation? So, in my work, uh, first of all, I notate from a, a, an obvious low bar. I count each successively higher peak, alphabetize them. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uppercase on the way up. There's never an H, but at the fourth highest peak, peak D, other things can happen. Your target is to go from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, and that should get you to at least four higher peaks. That's that's the core of the methodology. Um, I also look at patterns. I look at the straight line down or straight line up. I look at the cup formation or the arch formation. Of course, the cup could be a V or it could be an inverted V. Uh, the dreaded H is where you go to just one peak or two peaks, peak A or a B, and you take it, you, you fold, roll over, and you take out the left side low. That's very negative. Um, and the right side is where you're running up. It's green because if you in this cup formation, if you take out that left side high, that's very positive. So three basic patterns, straight line, cup, or arch. Then within that context, I also have a pattern that I call either the narrow or the large rectangle formation. I have webinars on this. If you sign up for my service, you get umpteen webinars on all these different techniques. The long, narrow rectangle is very different to the large. Look, here we're getting almost a big cup formation on the left side with the NG, natural gas continuous contract. And within that, uh, it's like a rectangle, basically. So uh, in the narrow, long rectangle, the same instrument, this is natural gas, has got this narrow, long rectangle right here. So I'm just going to do this for the moment. I'm going to go to the UNG because that's that was the question this morning. So let me go to the UNG, which is, uh, this is the, the tradable contract if you don't do futures. So look at this low of 587. This is, a, this is a, um, an instrument that went from 35 uh, just over a year or so ago, and it's trading down at 587, and everything you would think of in natural gas should be fantastic. I mean, come on. It just refused to go. And now we're getting to the season, the, the, the heating season. But if this didn't rally, I was saying yesterday, it looks to me like all the technicals are starting to improve. Even the nine period moving average win, of course, I'm talking about uh, I, I'm talking about the exact opposite of things that Larry talks about. He never talks about moving averages. Everybody has their own technique. You've got to respect each person's technique. So uh, within that context, what I'm looking at is this narrow, long rectangle says, if finally after the technicals improve, and you can see this is the MACD, very strong, but the price hasn't depreciated accordingly. And this is the, that's because of the look back period that was so weak. But if you look at the stochastic, this is the red and green one right here, uh, that's way higher than it was even just there at that 587 low. And yet the price has moved up, but not very much. In fact, if it wasn't for today, it would just be in the middle of the rectangle. <clears throat> 
So what we're looking at is the on balance form. The blue line has started to improve in the weekly chart. And what I'm looking at for the very, I, I said about three weeks ago, for the first time, I'm starting to see an improvement on the tactical side of the UNG. But it won't break out until a lot of things happen. It might take until the end of September, maybe the beginning of October before anything happens. And we won't know uh, until anything is happening, until we close decisively on the weekly chart above the high of the 11th of uh, August. And that was a high of 808. And we're trading right now at 739. Still a long way to go. There's that 808 gap. Uh, and it failed at a peak E and it came down. And you can see these H patterns that retested, but they did hold. So the lowercase H went to a lowercase M, but now you're making this rather large cup formation. So I like this. I like it very much. For the very first time, I needed to see by the end of the day, and I'm pleased that from my uh, show, which was three hours ago, when we're discussing it, it's actually gone a little higher. So that means I can take the 120-minute chart and do a little work on that. So here's your low right here. There's your dreaded H, a successful one, because it did go under, but it closed above. And now it's gone into a buy signal to buy mode right there. <clears throat> um, going to go first peak is peak A. One penny above it is peak B. And is that a double top? Yeah, that's also PB because we didn't break above it. <clears throat> you can see right here, uh, 693 and 692, I think. 690, oh, 693, parallel. But if it doesn't break it by a penny, it stays at a peak B. This goes to peak C, and now we've got a very strong leg D. D is where other things can happen. So this says, <clears throat> fabulous action. Will the stochastic at 81% in the 120-minute chart move higher will it go flat that's very important flat is good down is not good at this point below 80 <clears> percent <throat> i like what i'm seeing so that's just this whole area here between 725 i'd have to even say between 725 and 716 is pretty good support and let's see if that holds and if there's a gap up tomorrow that would be very important if it holds towards the high at the close so this is the first time i've been able to say it for a long time I like the action in UNG. Um, I said it when it broke out over there and it pulled back. I said, I'm liking it uh, we didn't, for subscribers. We don't have this. I actually looked at it yesterday. I was thinking of buying it today for subscribers. But then I would not have got it because yesterday it closed. This is UNG, not natural gas itself. UNG closed at 698 and today's opening was at 705. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have paid up for it at the open because it has a way sometimes of popping up and then closing lousy at the end of the day. This is the first <clears throat> in a while. This is the first follow through that we might see in the day. So yes, this is starting to be in play. It's not the big move because this rectangle, <laughs> my rule of thumb is that a, a long sideways rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. And until we close decisively, I usually say two out of three consecutive bars, that'll be two consecutive weeks above the, uh, what was that, uh, 767? No, 808, 808 level. Uh, until we close decisively above that, I have to say, you gotta be a little careful, but I would start the position here. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, sitting in for Larry Pizzavento. Be right back. Dow is down 134, and we've got a number of things to look at as soon as I return. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Just, uh, I needed to review something. A um, couple of things that I use that I find very important uh, is a 200-period exponential moving average. Right here, you can see it in the 10-minute chart. Look how the magnet of this 200 period moving average is just grab the price of it. It's going up or down. It just keeps coming back, keeps coming back. Try to come back earlier. There's a chance a little later in the day uh, we could break uh, at 4273. 4283 is now that number that we have to monitor. And if you're looking at the one minute chart, and there's your peak D. Remember, chap, where you'd like to get to a D because other things can happen to D. You got to see in the five minute chart, it could repel. At that five, at two, there it's 200 period moving average. And you can see the 200 period moving average in the one minute chart is like a magnet, just keeps coming back there. Now it's moving up peak eights in leg B. <clears throat> the stochastic's at 88%. That's good. The MACD is good. So this could run. It could run to the next level of two, uh, 4276. We'll see if that happens. All right, let's get back to our story. So uh, I, I finished the, the natural gas, which I think is acting extremely well for the first time. <clears throat> oh, let me show you the count. So from the lowest low bar on the left, we start the count. I can go with an up arrow immediately. I usually start with a plus sign and then upgrade it when it goes from a buy signal to a buy mode. And now because the stochastic is moving up and it's only at 51%, I can say all I've got here <clears throat> is a buy signal. Um, where it closes today could tell me that it's going into a buy mode, but... You've got that D in the 120-minute chart, remember? So you're in leg D in the daily, and D is where other things can happen. So you, I'm watching it very closely. I've drawn in the rectangle in this particular pattern right here. Look how long it's been in this rectangle. It just goes on forever, and most of the trading has been between 7.55 and uh, 6.43. <clears throat> Let me just expand this a little bit. I forgot to even look at this. Look how long it's been in this trading band. But if the stochastic at 51% can move to 68% and then 72%, that D should continue to try to tackle that gap right there at about $8. So that's going to be important. And you've got your supports. Unless something really this time. Um, so my rule of thumb with the rectangle formation is that you can go bounce around from the bottom to the top, bottom to the top. And then when you get to a peak D, you've got to be careful because if you take out the midpoint of the long channel, 
there's a real good chance you can go all the way to the bottom, and that bottom mustn't break, because if it breaks, you can go deeper down, go back in, and that'll be the test of whether it's just going back to say goodbye to its friends, and then it keeps going down, or whether you're going to go back to the upper level. So yeah, we've got peak A, B, C. This is D. You're going to be watching this closely, and look at the time sequence. Short cup formation, a little larger and much larger, and this was the one that needs to garner tremendous from torque here to momentum here. That's really important. Okay, so let's get out of that for the moment. Uh, that was natural gas. I could go through a number of other things. I've just I, I've got stocks that people want to look at, but I'll just match. Oops, don't type it there. Put your plus sign in, and then move to the rectangle over here, and then put at GC. Goes down four. It's just been stuck in this lower range. There's this one to one uh, with the propeller shaft right there. That midpoint is a Chapman wave parallel extension from this particular pattern. We've got a little bit under it, but the GDX, and this is a kind of a clue to say this little disparity that we see between the gold miners and gold itself must be monitored because you've moved, you've extended a little bit to the right, which meant that there was a little bit of strength there for a couple of weeks as a weekly chart in the middle, and then it pulled back. So have you used up all your energy to the downside? Well, we'll see, because the MACD is still a huge uh, width between the red slow-moving average and the faster one. The on-balance volume is trying to make a V-shaped bottom, and it can't. Stochastic's only at 6%. A lot has to happen, and a lot has to happen with the dollar which is still pulling back just a little bit down 40 uh, down 29 cents or 30 cents at 106.47 the dollar index so we've been in a buy mode since uh, 2018 um, still in that buy mode uh, so we're looking at uh, the dollar in a very short term having almost a one to one to the upside but this is the pattern that we're looking at in the weekly charts so I'll come back to this but I had questions about some stocks I'll go in order as I've written it down the first one I believe was Boeing. So Boeing, I did this morning in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, I said, this this little creep is like, a, I, I, usually it's on the upside, you see like a branch of a tree, and then you got these little bars that keep moving up, and every day you say, I, I, I can't get in, because it's just going to have a, and it doesn't have a sell-off, just like it never had, Boeing daily chart, never had a, a, anything more than just a little pop-up, the two little A's that failed, peak A's, and ever since the 230 level, here it is at 186. And even here, it's just a, an ugly a candle in terms of what it should be doing. So what we're looking at here is uh, I would I would wait on both. Even if you get some kind of a buy signal tomorrow or the next day, I, I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but at this particular point, I can only see a bounce. And then the trend could continue. And it'll have to do a retest of the mid-180s. So I don't see it yet. And it's in the sector that... At this particular point, it's not saying that it's showing any strength at all, other than it could have a decent pop up to the nine period moving average, the pink line at 191. So I would just hold off. And if you miss it, I think you'll have plenty of time to get in. Next question I had was so that's Boeing. Um, did I go? Did I write them in order? Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft, yes. So look, here's Microsoft. This is a little different because what you've got is. Let me just do this refresh. There it is. So the question was, Microsoft, let me just double check to see that I've got the question right. Uh, so Nancy says, uh, Basil, could you look at Microsoft, please? Seems like it has support around 314.90 with a top at 320. Okay. So there are a couple of things. You see this weekly chart. You remember the pattern we were looking at, this dreaded H pattern? Let me just show it to you again for those of you new to my work. Uh, it's this pattern right here where it comes down sharply, comes down sharply, and it's red because if it goes and it fails at a peak A or B and then takes out the left side low, it can go quite a bit low. You've got two or three bars in which to get over that left side low, and then it says, phew, might have saved the day. Well, that's where we are. And not only that, we've got one more day to go. And the nine period moving average is finally, ever since it went positive, way back over there, that was somewhere in the beginning of January at about 250. Um, right now, it's gone uh, to a sell signal. But I have to, it's a weekly bar, bar, so I have to wait for all the way through until tomorrow at 4 o'clock. 
And there's a doji candle for last week, tiny little doji, and a potential doji candle today. So in the weekly chart, and then and look, the MACD's weak, stochastics fading, the nine pre moving averages I said has turned down, but it hasn't. I have to wait for Friday. But the daily has this dreaded H pattern, which went to a peak D with a doji candle, comes down. I didn't draw in the left side, right side price time match. That's bar symmetry because it didn't have an exact top um, at the high. It had a little earlier on with this particular candle right here. So, oops, waiting for serve. Um, yeah, so as it stands right now, you know what? I'll be back in a moment. I've got quite a bit to say about Microsoft. I want to do it together with some of the other biggies of the, of the, the great sevens. Um, I'll be back in a moment. Basil Trapp is sitting in for Larry Pesavento. Dow's down 131. S&P's down 22. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So we're looking at Microsoft. Actually, as we're looking at Microsoft, I'm just going to see if we got to that D. Mm -mm. Yep, there it is. There's the D. Uh, you remember the cup formation I talk about? I drew in the Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent line, and I drew in the left side, right side price time match from bar symmetry, but except it wasn't from the low, it was from a different candle, and we did get to the D. Now we'll have to see what happens next, uppercase D. This is the one-minute chart. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up to the 4283 200-period moving average um, without some kind of 
impetus to the upside today. It's going to be tough. All right, let's get back here. So Microsoft, this is what I'm looking at. You see this 120-minute chart? Uh, it broke down from the uh, from the 200 period moving average, came down, 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 and then it made this low right here on the 28th. <clears throat> I think it was on the 28th. Goes to peak A, peak B, gaps up, fills a little bit of the gap. Nine period moving average moves positive. It goes to C and D, but it fails under the 200 period moving average. The implication is that the closer next time that it gets to the 200 period moving average, look, it hasn't been there since back in uh, the 20th of September. That's quite a while ago. So the closer it can get, if it can get in the, in the next day or two, uh, that's not today, I'm talking about tomorrow or the next day, to 322, then all of a sudden you're going to be the 322, 74, 200 period moving average. Not only becomes a magnet, but it becomes an impetus to say, hey, I can treat this as a, as a base of support if the general market starts to move up from here. That's a long way to go. We're at 316 in this environment. So I'd be looking at this as a potential H pattern. Even though the nine period moving average turned positive, it is barely positive. So be careful. And I would say the, the, the low today, what did you say, 31490? Yeah, we're, we're in agreement with that. 314, uh, yeah, 31490 is really imperative to hold today because if this market, the Dow's down 141, s and down 34, if instead of coming back to minus, like a minus 80 by the close, if there's an acceleration down, we could get an acceleration down tomorrow and then Monday could be the turnaround day and I'll show you why. So I, I'm including this because Microsoft is a Dow stock. So let me just show you something here. This is what I show subscribers to my opening call every day. I don't want to go too much into it. We've got limited time. But you see this symmetry. I love these arcs. Look at the symmetry here from this high of 34,331 in February. Uh, the, uh, that's the daily chart, February the 14th this year, down to the low of 315. Uh, that's March 15th at 31429. And then you spiral up with the channel wave inside wedge and it goes to a peak D, fails as another residual road wave high to 34,257. First of May comes down at 32,586. May the 23rd it goes up. And from that low, look, the number of bars to the upside to the high of August the 1st, I should mention we are short and still short from that exact high at 35,679. We've come down. We haven't got to the exact number of bars. That goes to tomorrow. And if it goes to tomorrow, that would be a test of the 32,586. Doesn't have to do that. The chart doesn't know that it has to do that. This is just something I drew in from the experience and all technical indicators I've developed over the years. But at this particular point, we are very close to getting to an area where there could be some kind of a rebound. And I, I see the market is anxious. I was, I was upset to see the market rallied early this morning before pulling back. I would have preferred if it pulled back and then slowly today there was a rally followed through tomorrow by a very strong rally. And that this gives you the time sequence. And it says uh, date tomorrow is uh, June the 6th. And it says that that was the X that I put in as a potential. Um, I don't know. So for, for subscribers, we actually have started a position. We actually short, but we saw just a trading position for a kind of a pop-up on the long side. Um, you know, I like to have different positions for different time frames. And this is a shorter time frame. It's a little bit aggressive, but that's the way it is. So with that said, I just want to go back. So Microsoft's important. So if Microsoft by Tuesday of this coming week is trading, it doesn't have to close. It just has to trade once. About 321.89, that was the high here on the, uh, that was on uh, October the 2nd. And all of a sudden, you've got your leg B. So as I'm saying, so we've we prepared for some kind of rally. So far, our stop has held, and we'll see what happens. Now, this is very interesting. Question came in about N uh, N E E. Uh, N E E is next, next era. Energy made a, a double peak C1, C2 double top in the monthly chart right here uh, within a couple of points of one another. And the technicals on that side were horrible. And it plunged. And this is, this is in a group that, I mean, I was showing junk today. Look, the junk's JNK, which is your 
uh, J and K is the, um, uh, I forgot to put that in. It's the spider, Bloomberg. Uh, this is the um, commercial bonds. Let me just see what they call it. High yield bond. Okay. Look at this. It's just trying to form a base. I think we're getting to an area where we might be forming a base. Um, yeah. But you better find it because if, like the TLT, the TLT had this H, H pattern that went to a lowercase m, and then just 91.85 was an October low, and whoosh, it goes right through it in a monthly chart as well. So this for NEE, wow, it is imperative. I don't know if you're, if you're maybe you're short or you're holding long. I don't know. You want to go long. But uh, all I can say is a question in the den about it. Um, just be real careful. It's right here. The unbalanced volume is at a very oversold level. It, it, it's at a point where it should rally. Stochastic is at 8% single digit. It needs to get to 12 or 15% very quickly. And you need to take out this candle on the left that was yesterday's high of 53.95. I mean, this is basically a bond. And it's down... Um, it hit 48.24 in two days, and it's already been for at 70 just a couple of weeks ago. I mean, this is really ugly stuff. We need to do something happening because if there's bad news tomorrow, the market takes it badly. So all I'm saying is I don't know if you're along, if this is something you're looking at and you want to get in. You'll have plenty of time to get in. If you're trying to time the exact bottom, I would wait until 8.30 tomorrow. If the market moves up and this starts to move up, you can just nibble on it with a – a stop under whatever today's low is and that, and just treat it as a very quick trade because this candle here says unless in two or three weeks' time is a weekly chart, unless in two or three weeks you're in the, in, in, well into this ugly candle of the week of the 29th of September with a high of, uh, a high of, good grief, a high of 67 and a low of 56, you've got to be at least in the 58 area. In a few weeks' time, and that that's the way I would look at this. Uh, another question came in: Could I look at whoops, uh, Basil? Yeah. So, um, oh, is that the break? Oh, it's a break. Okay. So another question came in. I wrote it down somewhere. Where did I write it? Oh, Docu, Docu sign. Let's have a look at Docu as we go to the break. As a chap in Sydney, oh, nice comeback. That was only down 39. SMB's down 11. Good. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So we had this quick jab from the 200 period moving average. Look how long it, it hung out there, made the peak D, pull back, but that nine did not flip negative. Oh, I wish I was actually in front of my computer with my uh, with uh, my trading program all ready to hit the button. Um, and then it sprung off it as, as, as if it was a, a reflex action. So you've now got this. I don't usually like to put in ovals because they have different implications. Now I'll put the rectangle. Now I'll put the oval so you can see what I'm looking at. As a fulcrum, a midpoint, the propeller shaft that I was talking about that has gone from here, from here to to here. In a very crisp wall, I go to the bottom of the rectangle, then I go to the top of the rectangle, right? And there it is. So it's got a little bit more to go, but that's the propeller shaft, and that should be moved over like that. So let's see if it suddenly stalls here. I call this dartfish day, where you've got quick moves and then it stops, quick moves and then it stops. This one has pushed above the 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart. And if the stochastic starts to go over 80%, it's at 74%, suddenly you've gone from a buy signal to a buy mode, and that says you should get to at least a peak D. And then what I would do is I would just grab the left side high over there, grab the cup formation, look at that midpoint and say, well, if that's my plumb line right there, we should get to, I'll just type this in. I'm just saying this is the kind of work I like to do. Uh, it might be a little bit too much right now. But I'm just saying, this is the way it would work. <clears throat> um, right there, make that green because it tells you where it's going. And it says buy. Oh, I've got to move to the right. I don't really want to move the bars to the right. But it says buy. How many is that? One, two, three, four. Add 40, 40 bars. So buy 40 minutes. Buy. 310, uh, by about 320, there should be a move there. I, I don't, I haven't done enough work yet to say that that's exactly what I'm, this is really what I'm looking at here. So it says by about, yeah, if we can get about 4290, 4290, then all of a sudden the 4300 becomes a target. 4302 was the high already. Uh, that was from earlier this morning. So that would be wonderful if we can do that and then follow through to the upside. That's the reason why I said to subscribers, I'm looking at anxious buyers, but I don't want to see them come in too early. So we've had that very big just There it is. Just a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. We'll see if that's going to Yep, It's almost there. It's got another half a point to go. And this is an F that could be an alternate count, G slash C. I don't want to get into that right now. But in the meantime, the stochastic's at 93% in the one-minute chart. That's excellent action. And we've got to now we're still stuck at 74% in the daily. Key support now is right in this area of 4280 to 4278. Now let me just get back to the question that I had. And that question was right here. 
Um, so DocuSign. Doc, you just have to wait. DocuSign is another one of those where it's not showing any leadership. And if the market rallies, it'll be dragged up. It's trading at 41.15 right now, down 29 cents. It's not a pretty pattern at all. It's got a real big magnet line right here. Let me just draw this in for you. And let's see what happens over the next week or two. I'll just put it in right here. We're going from there to there. And then I'll just move it to the right. I'm doing it a little too quickly. Let me just take my time. I have to also have a chap wave inside wedge target support line. That's going to be going from there all the way to ups. Nope, that's too steep. So let me just do it this way here. Okay, that yeah, that yeah, this is closer. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to find a candle that I think is really important. I am going to go with this kick panel because it could happen earlier. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, DocuSign. Yeah, I, I'm suspecting that it might have. It might take another few weeks before um, it can it can base out. But it is so close to the left side low of of 3963 May the fourth week of the 4th of November of 2022, that right, this is the area that it's getting to that's going to be absolutely imperative to hold. So treat it that way, that you're getting close. And I just want to make a change here to say, this is the trend line that I'm looking at, and we are there. So we're already testing my chat. We have inside track, oops, inside wedge, target support line. All right, next question came in right here. Um, let's see, where was it? Yeah, yeah. You know, I said dartfish. I don't know if there is actually a thing called the dartfish. I made this up years ago because when, when you're doing the uh, futures, you got these quick moves and you think, oh, it's going to move. And then all of a sudden it stops and goes, to, and then it goes the other way. You think those are, so I call it dartfish day. Let me just check here. Let me just, I'll do this. Is there time? Yep. Is there time? Yep. There's time. So let me just do this real quickly. I'll Google it. I'll say Dartfish. Dartfish is the leader in sports performance technology. Dartfish offers no motion analysis and game analysis solutions. Is there a fish though? Is there actually a fish called a dartfish? I don't know if there is. Dartfish video? Dartfish? Dart no, I don't think there is. I looked it up once before because I use it so often. Um, what can a dartfish do? No, no, no. We don't have such a thing as a dart. I don't have a dartfish. All right. Now, let me talk about this because I, I think we're at such a critical moment. You see, I'll go through this again. This is my, it's called bar symmetry. Arch pattern has this very, it doesn't matter how big or small, it has this pattern that says from a particular level, there's a rally, and then it makes a high, or there's a decline, and it makes a low, and then it starts to move back in the direction that it came from. To be able to assess in time, I try to find the midpoint. Enough times that it's the exact, we don't know if it's the exact, how would you even know that this was the exact high? You don't know. But what I like to do is to assess using other techniques to say that if it starts to come down and takes out a certain point, and I usually use a Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line, if it starts to test that line, it means this is becoming very serious because it's on its way down, and then we get exactly this. Look at this. So we are within a couple of bars of that exact level of 32,586. Uh, we came within less than 500 points from a high of 35,679, which is why I said today, let's take a little bit off our, long, our short position, the Dow. We still have our core position from October, the low of uh, the exact day of the low, and the exact day of the low of 2020 in March. This is now, these are trading positions. Just a real quick one, we added uh, one uh, yesterday, didn't work out, took a little bit of a loss. Uh, two days ago, yesterday's is working out well. It hasn't taken it, even though I've tightened the stop on a three times long position. But we're going to see what happens. And now all you can do is let the market tell you. Now we're getting to some resistance. 
So there's your alternative count. I'll show you. I'll do this when we get back. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento. Now it's only down 28. Pesavento's down 10. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, that's right. I need to look at Slumberjay. Let me just do that quickly. Slumberjay, SLB. SLB is Slumberjay starting to pull back. I made this peak uh, alternate count G top right here, reverses. Look at this. Look at beautiful left side, right side pride. Look at that. It's one bar late to the right side over there. Um, yes, I'd be real careful. I think that the uh, if you're looking at Exxon, if you're looking at all of these stocks, uh, oil has had a, a pretty sharp pullback. Um, oh, I don't want to go into it right now, but I, I, maybe I'll do tomorrow's Technical Friday. For those of you listening or interested in the stuff that I do, um, I've got a pattern called the Chapman Wave flat base restart, and then it's got Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. And that says to me that based on this particular methodology, crude oil should come back to the 76s over a period of a week or two. We'll see if that's going to happen. That should really help the market. All right, let's get, get back to this. We're just about to wrap it up. We're going to hand you over to Peter Bruno, our new host at the two o'clock hour fabulous program. I hope you can have a chance to listen to it. Look at this ESZ23 made this high. Uh, alternate count Chapman Wave Peak G slash C. And what happens? It, yep, G C and it turns down. So this is what we want to be looking at. 
uh, this is the last two hours of trading. <clears throat> if at any point 42.80 gets taken out on the downside of the E-mini, this 42.75 uh, 200 period moving average is support. But look at the magnet of this particular 10 minute chart right here. So watch it closely. And what I'm going to say to you is tomorrow at 9 10 tomorrow morning, if the Dow, wherever it closes today, doesn't matter what happens tomorrow, if it's over 100 po 110 points in the futures, whatever the results are, and the SP is up over 32 points, uh, 28 points. That could be a nice turnaround session because you remember January the 6th is one, I'm sorry, the 6th, the um, 6th of October in this particular pattern is going to be pretty. Uh, let me just show you this chart one more time. This is going to be a pretty important moment. Let's see what happens. Hey, have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Stay tuned for Peter Bruno. It should be a great show as always. Uh, he's our new host. He's been here a few days and it's really fascinating what he talks about. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.